and a pedal board. And I was trying to find a power supply, so I went online and I found this power supply, which is a K line, CAD line power supply. Uh, it's pretty common out there on eBay or whatnot. And um, it has no, eight. It has eight nine volt DC outputs and um, one twelve volt DC output and one eighteen volt DC output. It also has um, LEDs on the front of it. And basically, when I got it, it didn't work. Um, so I bought it. They're relatively cheap in comparison to other power supplies. I bought it. It didn't work. I opened it up. All the caps were blown. They were generic caps. They were crap. Um, so... I spoke with a engineer and um, found out the caps that would work best and uh, I went ahead and ordered those and changed out all the caps. So if you have one of these power supplies you might want to check out the caps because they're probably offshore generic awful terrible caps that are not going to work very long. So basically it was working for me and then it was cutting out under power it was just shutting off and turning back on. I opened it up, all the caps are puffy. Um, you can see the top of them is crowned. Um, they're bad. They're all bad. They're terrible caps. They needed to be changed, so I changed them all. Um, so upgraded this power supply by changing all the capacitors out. Um, put this one large capacitor in here because they're a little bit larger size because these are 35 volt caps hoping to get a bit more life out of them. So, um, that's pretty much it for the um, CAD line or K line uh, pedal power, power supply. Is that if you're going to buy one, pretty much expect that it's not going to work. Or if it does work, it'll only work for a little while until the caps blow because they're going to blow. Um, all the rest of the circuitry inside of it looks pretty solid. Um, we'll see how it holds up. Um, but all the caps were definitely bad. I had to change them all. So they're all changed out now. I'm going to give it a go. Get it back together. And uh, see if it works. I did notice the output on this last one that it's supposed to be 18 volts is, is rather high. Um, I'm not certain if that's because I ramped up the voltage on the cap or not. Um, or it's supposed to be a high current. So maybe that's how they justify their high current. I'm not certain because I didn't read it before I changed the caps. So if I had, I would have known if it was a higher voltage then too. Because coming off of the regulator, it just may be ramped up uh, in that manner. Uh, I would have liked to alter these two last ones to just, to just have 9 volt uh, outputs rather than these last two which are 12 and 18 because I'm probably not going to use those. But after looking at it, um, I think it's going to be more difficult than I want to get into and I'm probably just going to leave it alone and just cap off these two in the end um, for now because if I actually had done it while I had the caps out, it might have been easier, but now I have all the caps in and they're brand new and I don't want to change them out again. So, that'll be pretty much it for me. I'm pretty much going to use it in this manner uh, with the eight outputs and that's pretty much going to be sufficient for me. So, again, if you're going to buy one of these K-Line uh, uh, pedal power uh, power supplies be well aware that the caps are totally crap and you're going to have to change them um, in order for it to work properly for you in any kind of long-term usage manner <laughs> uh, so that's it check back and uh, we'll get some more videos up for you